Așor mi-a stat la așa muncă la loc, mă ești povivă. Iergurile zopat cam bitate, am clerente, haiere. Iev, arăci am clerent bat cam a bine, de să-i încrambez orați și o hosken, am clerent pagină bine, că artam. Vorme hedo, bat vedim bine hrabirem. Vorbe si ir hovagan a otcă ne, ne verner o ne, vor avea pețan, e vor a ghi arăci în bat cam bine. Hătrem vot ghiere de închic, e gartam, e va aut de ghila. I'm going to read from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 15, as a basis for the English message this morning. And please remain standing after the reading for the pastoral prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers, to keep away from every brother who is idle and does not live according to the teaching you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day laboring and toiling so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to make ourselves a model for you to follow. For, you, for even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. If a man will not work, he shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle, they are not busy, they are busybodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the bread they eat. And as for you, brothers, never tire of doing what is right. If anyone does not obey our instruction in, the le in this letter, take a special note of him. Do not associate with him in order that he may feel ashamed. Yet, do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. How thing. Apar, what's up, Shragaliku, Stancheri, or your Tamar, or Mesigudas Gap, or Chuchun, or your Ashkadin, was telling, White. Mezi de bat shnorket ai sor perik zdi klimaner a o te mor botmi zanok serbes je amotsko za zutuna okutuna. Jak na vorajer kiden voraj se abod vorosa vat vazen šader dar per desak salem dar abat mer te zvan kiden fizika gan Tagan, Motoritner, Vnankner, Rautem, Vortu, Antinanes Chara, Ev Gurzanes, Amor Polor, Zrakirner, Ev Gurzer, Ev Avadas Satunus, Levan Stal Judas, Vortu, Kerishares, Dagavin, Kaungura, Stasis, Amen Paniderianes, Havidenagan, Zrakirnerus, Oder Gautem, Ku Havidenagan, Zrakirner. Zatrem, <laughs> 
mas nu era din gautem, uite, barza de zveri mai, aba întunim cu gamcăt, ne badagim chezi, ne virvim chezi, ne abrim gamper cu chez de parabole. Dar ți-am de perec merg, ai renică, ai joaurță, ai taravan că vor merg joaurță, ca așa zică, ca așa, nerga ei să aluți de gautem, vor turișez arțahă, merg joaurțin, am perucut las, E vă urmăresc acea țis. E așa de mezamenți de un al sârdin, hărgin, tută pnas, vorbesc arta rugea în gomă la mergi o urtă, ai țadăr cruzet, ați adăr. Ați alganți negați paștă, nu cât e zi, bolor nu te rog, bolor de să găt ne rog, e ca o tem. Or ai sor cu nergaiut iambă, iura cancius, ornesc, e într-un paralor. Sarea lui Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We come before you with confidence, realizing, believing, understanding that you are Almighty God. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Your majesty is great. Your love is wonderful and deep. And therefore, we pray that your presence will bless each and every one of us. The preaching of your word will bring honor to your name and blessing to each. For I pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. As you realize, this weekend is a Labor Day weekend, and America celebrates and will celebrate tomorrow, and, and a lot of people, millions, are happy uh, traveling, going and coming, and I'm sure uh, that it will be a wonderful day. We pray that it will be a safe day. A lot of accidents happen, unfortunately. This morning, I will be bringing a message appropriate to, to this holiday. The title is Hard Worker, and Brother Gladi already read from the scripture. Throughout centuries, there has existed tension between labor and management. Owner of a business and a worker. Each accusing the other at times. Each has expectation from the other party more than they could deliver. I guess that's a human nature. Today, millions of people regard their work as something they must bear, a living in dignity. Historian Thomas Carlyle wrote, there is a perennial nobleness and even sacredness in work. The idleness alone is their perpetual despair. Man perfects himself by working. All work, even cotton spinning, is noble, according to Thomas Carlyle. Jesus himself, Jesus himself believed in the dignity labor. Definitely Christians concerned about the worker and his work. In Luke 10, verse 7, he said, labor is worthy of his hire. The biblical view is that labor is part of God's gracious plan for man. Some is praises God for the fact that man goes forth to his work, Psalm 104, verse 23. Apostle Paul says, work as essential element in Christian discipline. And he boldly informed the Thessalonians that the idol must be put to work. That is the Christian message. God wants us to be active and work hard to become witnesses for him. Did you know, did you know that the trade unions, as we know them, were originally the product of a spiritual revival under John and Charles Wesley in the early 1700s. Because working conditions in Britain were seemingly hopeless, men worked 16 hours or more a day, six days a week. A little children as young as 10 years of age worked long hours deep in the mines and in factories, many died from accidents or simply 
exhaustion. Today, there also exists different parts of the world, child labor, injustice, and other things. History tells us that social liberty in England began as a result of a great return to God. As I said under the preaching of Wesley, thereupon, men such as Bishop William Wilberforce and Lord Shaftesbury began to force legislature which brought relief to the working class. If you had lived at that time, you will understand what I'm talking about. Today is entirely different. I recognize we're living in a different world. We're living in a different time. <coughs> and again, I want to assure you that I'm not going to make a political statement. And yet I hope that workers are being taken care of. They need it. They deserve it. And justice for all, always. The Christian cannot, cannot accept the thinking of the society in which there is an ordinary concern for ease, pleasure, and security, and little or no concern for honest and hard work. Idleness and dependence on others is not a godly trait for the able-bodied individual. If you can work and you're healthy, I'm not telling you if you're 90 years old, even then you can work, but I'm talking about now, as young as you are. Idleness is not biblical. Christians are to remain busy, to take responsibility for themselves, and not be burdened on others. They should be examples to others, matter of fact. And it should mean what it means to be a Christian good worker. Work has a positive aspect. It provides an honest way to do something useful and also produces something to share with those he needs. God condemns laziness and condones hard work and honest work. The value of the work is not to be measured by the wealth it produces for us, but ultimately by the opportunities it provides for the ministry to magnify the name of the Lord and be an example to the world what it means to be honest, committed worker. Some people can make good money and others cannot. And I belong in that side. <laughs> but those who are blessed to be helpful to others, it's a joy. And I know giving is a joy. If God is blessing you, you have the talent, the wisdom, the intelligence, the opportunity, and you make it. Share with others in need. Share with the church. Share with missionaries. You will be rewarded. There was an announcement made in the company which said to all employees, Due to increased competition and a desire to stay in business, we find it necessary to institute a new policy. Follow me, please. We are asking that somewhere between starting and quitting time and without infringing too much on the time usually devoted to the lunch period, Coffee breaks, rest periods, storytelling, ticket selling, vacation planning, and rehashing yesterday's television program, each employee endeavor to find some time that can be set aside and known as the work break. That's a profound lesson for all of us to learn from that statement. Often work is considered a chore, a burden, a nuisance. Whereas in the scripture, we find that it can be a delight. It can be a delight. Isaiah 65, verse 22, we read, My elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. That's biblical. That God is speaking. To enjoy work, we 
you must recognize it as a friend, not as a foe or an enemy. To enjoy work, we must aim for excellence. To enjoy work, we must do it as unto the Lord. The scripture is very clear. No matter where we have been planted, no matter what position, no matter what task, it is our Christian responsibility, a biblical command, that we should do it unto the Lord. Also, we must recognize the fact that we are called to be co-laborers with God, as well as we are called to labor for God. Jesus said, my Father sent me, even so I sent you. Remember that we have been planted. It's not a result of an accident. No matter what is your attainment in life, what country, what color, what home, what organization, it's divinely important. We have to accept it, believe it, and do our share. The church, I mean, repeat, the church cannot advance by accident, by wishing, or hoping, or dreaming. It requires hard work, it requires cooperation, sacrifice, and dedication. In our kitchen at home, we have a sign. It says, how beautiful it is to do nothing and then rest afterwards. <laughs> you got the picture. As Christians, we have a sacred duty to be good workers. In the marketplace, the place where we receive our wages. That's for everybody. Everybody. Including you. No one is exempt. No one is exempt. We have to be conscientious with the time we work with you. The Christian should be a faithful worker. She should do a good job wherever he or she works. A young woman was being interviewed for an office work. She was asked, do you have any special talent or ability? Yes, she said. I won prizes in several crossword puzzle contests and also several slogan in writing contests. That's very nice, said the man. But we need people who are smart during office hours, said the interviewer. That was during office hours, the young woman replied. <laughs> Can you imagine, can you imagine? I am told, and the common sense tells me that it's accurate. If people were faithful and worked hard, honestly, they put the time they were supposed to and worked the way they were supposed to, definitely, definitely, things will be different. You will be able to buy your furniture for less your cars for less, and your other needs much less than what you and I are paying today because of the laziness and faithfulness of a lot of workers. So let, uh, friends, too much lack, unfaithfulness, laziness. And today I'd like to ask you, what kind of workers are we? Uh, let me share this <coughs> illustration that I've read long time ago, and I just wanted to include here, it said, are we like canal boats that have to be dragged, push, 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 please brother, do something, push. Secondly, it's like sailing ships that do fairly well as long as the wind and the tide are with them but sail away as soon as going gets hard. Or, lastly, third, like ocean liner that keeps going regardless of winds and adversity, because within them is a mighty furnace 
glowing with the love of Christ and the constraint by it. What a difference. <coughs> Read the statistics. If people were faithful, laborers were faithful at corporate level, small companies, in school, in any level of employment. And if employers, owners of business, were generous, appreciative, create wonderful, loving atmosphere of cooperation and honesty, friendship, generosity. Look at the result. I tell you, it will make a tremendous difference. We Christians should be the examples and the champions of hard laborers and a great business owners for the glory of God because we shall give an answer one day to him, our big boss. God bless you. Ce 
Dus ook als aan het smerkeer. Aan het midden was het ons meer. Je was het zo vaak in mijn kort zijn. Ze hebben de matze, hava daar moet je nemen. Nu is het zo hoske, karozom neer. Nee, het zegt. Nee, het zegt. Her jammer er, voor Abedaran, her romper. Romeaat simmen er, voor Abedaran, her Frans Sadam. Frans Sadam simmen er, voor Scandinavia, je ging er daar aan Abedaran. Scandinavia simmen er, voor Irlandan Abedaran. Als zo gerber zaman al je, men kent haskar, bij het spoor in een tanur kumara, skam jelly wat gerber. Je baba, je bezat ze zeer goed dat ze, wat ze zeer menge aan oort zera koorts neemt. Christus is zo versteld ze wat pari koorts er aan. Voor best de chante, haar oort, hava dat ze aan nere, toe bet gedank, voor dere, voor best sprung, ir tsebe da meer gang keru mens, je wil madin koorts er solats ne, meer gang keren mers, je dat ze al meer mens stel ze keren zik bat kerme, stel ze keren zik negara kirme, in parking alat. In sere, in schnorke, gesti bebez. Voor laf korzen korzen. Allah'ın korza dediği meç, yegen etsi meç, duna tıbrotse. Boçte barda tranki ta. Boçte vor bez seva gerbutu, aç ki tuyc. Haba kanivor menk, gesti renk, ne hissusa, ye hissus ke heran kemezi, o menk, hava darim illan, orina gallan, ke boç te tuyc. Zerler, nor the guys for Hawaii Pacific match South Pacific. Amai Kirismani match. Un Yeritsaga missionary Shirimaga. Voru anu ne veravat beli jam didi. Edebiyal artsan akraze. Artsan akraze Shirimi bra. Yer pos yega yer pek Christonia shigar. Yer eratsam ashteren Yer pek et hamos çıbanat. Hristos'i cişmarit hangoru ıskaygan dar pevcü güne yer pzeraya ambelaba oren angez oren nubir bol deroçe parkin alar. Kuzem izra bagel mikani yedir yemesse uşak ülkem hansıları ol. Gırnas Orer şapatner dariner aşkadil. Yer şarjarit et şilakke ni ağıngaler varsa dökü. Gırnas martu açko met spanerinel, met saynanel. Dere kez didici varsa de, met sayn hanelu tamar. Hava, havadar ucağın tamar. Yer aşkadan kıt ir aykiyin haçı ucağın hamarçe, Mi ayangaler varız. Şat ıslağın. Bu rastlanz arada sevim hayre. Arta rastlanzın. Nayetse gayet partik olur. Verçin bahur katsın. Havadar oren. Aşkader ona var. Lıman varız ıslatsan. Bu arada bir renk badras değil. Iskistel aşkader olur. Bak smegin zirek çer varız at. Yev dere ki de. Orijinele skispel dat schwazelijn, padraste, havadar moren zarael, gestage patka, ora spans, fair god, just god, chance god, je bid wat zat er, pijs bezig met haar naar de havadar moetje, havadar moetje, zelle, dona gadar op kunt je paver, jarel je paver, hostel der je paver, haba partar modetsu, geljabi modetsu, octagon modetsu. Astuzo, Anvan, Badif, Poleru, Pereru, Modetsu. Allah Pador, Allah Kortika. Kortika, Kortika. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, Amen, forevermore. Yevima, And the Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord, who has so settled. And so, what will be the power of the Lord? You are actually the Lord, and you are 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 the Lord. Amen. Amen.